Ah, gents. Here's a board with a difference. This is in Maggie M1, but it's yellow. I think what this is, is a, it's a reproduction Mega M1. I'm not sure, but it was set up to be repaired, supposedly non working, and it was non working. Fixed already, but we'll get into that. The owner might notice some difference. I think what's, what this is, is someone got fed up repairing battery damaged boards, and they had one like uh, this. Stripped all the parts off it, photocopied the bare board, and then had the company make up a new PCB. I mean, you can do that. You can you can work out the trace design and then send off the companies, and they'll make a board for you. They won't just do one. They, they, they'll do runs of boards. So it's not cheap, but it's not amazingly expensive either. Something I don't have any need for at the minute. But uh, yeah, it's a... So fully kitted out M1, and the beauty of this being a reproduction is the it, it just comes as a PCB blank, and then you install all the parts on. So whoever installed all the parts installed it in sockets. Most of them anyway, which made this really easy to do. And see, he's not had the right size of socket there, so you just use an oversized one. Took two pins out. I used to do that all the time. I think I told the guy that built this board to do that. But yeah. It was non working, it was non booting. Let's focus in a minute. It would just sit with the uh, seven lights of death. These are hyper bright LEDs, by the way. I'm talking to the owner, of the, the owner of the boards now. These are hyper bright LEDs. I would change these back to the red ones because these will light up your entire room, let alone show you what's wrong with the board. But there we go. See what I mean about the LEDs? I'm going to make a short video of this again tonight in the early hours of the morning with all the lights in the house off and I'll show you what I mean. I can't look at them at the minute. I'm trying my best to cover them up. In fact, I'm going to turn the board off because they're blinding me while I'm talking. So, actually quite an easy fix. By the way, I like this. I really like this. Whoever's remanufactured this board, you've got your choice of batteries here. You can have a large Vartha, a mini Vartha, or you can have a three pin plug header and have your battery fly lighted off the board. That is an excellent idea. That is a fantastic idea. Thumbs up for that because that makes life so much easier. Yeah, the fault was this. Looks like a Chinese reproduction CPU. And it's actually terrible quality because I took it out of the socket and the leg fell straight off it. That's not going to work. I'll maybe try soldering the leg back on that, see if I get a response. But it's an obvious. And the quality is terrible and it's not even the right font on the top of the chip. See, what happens is. Chinese reclaim houses. They'll sand off the top of the chip. Sometimes they'll go as far as putting a new capsule on, sometimes they just paint over it. And then they'll etch what looks like a genuine date code and manufacturing on, but no, that doesn't look right at all. There's, I'll show you, I mean, there's a genuine one over there. See, it's not 6809, it's 6861, but look at the difference. Well, I think uh, pull it too, huh? it's not right at all yeah so I swapped that out for one of one of the spare boards it's an EF6809 in there I think I think it actually came out of uh, Scorpion 2 or something it's not new but it does the job and I've tried a couple of these spare program cards so in it and yeah they all work as well well, like I said, change these LEDs out, put red ones in, you don't need them to be that bright. Guy that built the board, that's all he had. But, 
You'll blind anybody trying to troubleshoot that board. I would just put the standard red ones in. That's the one running next to the transmission. That was that, nice and simple. I'll send this back with the board. So what would you There's a glorified paperweight, and you see, there's another telltale sign. The legs are too shiny. You can actually see, see if you look really, really closely. Mm. Going thumbs up to the phone camera. Yeah, again, the Samsung phone cameras are unbelievable. It sounds like a cell drip. But see if I hold that like that. You can see where they've retinned all the legs, and that leg there is actually too long. That's a re that's a repro. It's probably not even a proper six eight oh nine. Don't get me wrong; it'll be a processor of a sort. It'll be a six eight oh nine of a sort, but it won't be a Motorola one. See, something's been etched off the bottom of it there as well. You can see where it's been sanded away. Well, it's rubbish anyway. Anyways. On to the next one.